Please stand clear of doors. What's up guys? Today we're talking about crop sensor versus full frame. This whole confusing he said, she said, numbers and the APS-C sensor in your, eh. It's actually so much easier than that. We're gonna go over the pros and cons of both, why it matters, what you should get. And I mean, if you're already an expert on this, you probably don't need to watch this video. But you should anyway, because we'll probably end up taking some cool pictures. So, I'm gonna go pick up my buddy Anthony and we're gonna get rolling on this. Let's do it. What's up, dude? What's up, man? Let's f hit it. You ready to shoot? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. All right, so we're talking crop sensor or APS-C versus full frame. And obviously, the biggest difference is that crop sensor is crop. It'll be zoomed in, so for example, some cameras will have like a 1.5 times crop. So if you're using a 50 millimeter on a full frame and a 50 millimeter on a crop sensor, that 50 millimeter on the crop sensor is actually gonna be more like 75 millimeters. Okay, so now that you know how the crop factor works at that 1.5, if you wanted to shoot full frame 24 mil, you'd actually have to go down on a lens in crop sensors, so you'd need like a 16. Here's an example of what that's gonna look like. All right, so as you guys can see, yeah, there are a few differences. I mean, it's nothing major, but you will notice some differences between the crop and the full frame. The full frame we're using today is my Canon 1DX, and the crop sensor is my buddy Anthony's A6300. Now, there are a few other differences between the results you're gonna get from a full frame body and a crop sensor body, so let's get into those now. So one minor difference you're gonna notice in your photos, when you're shooting at the same focal length, making the adjustment obviously, like 16 mil to get 24 and then 24 on the full frame, one thing you're actually gonna notice is a little bit of difference in the depth of field of your photo. So here's a couple examples of what that's gonna look like. So there are definitely some areas where a full frame sensor excels more and a crop sensor has more benefits. For full frame, you're looking at things like better low light performance. You can shoot at like a higher ISO without as much noise and you get a better shallower depth of field when you're shooting at a comparable focal length. Now, the benefits of a crop sensor are that A, a lot of the bodies are a lot lighter. You've got your mirrorless cameras, smaller bodies, lightweight, easier, better for travel might be for you. B, they're a lot more cost effective in most cases and C there's the added telephoto factor of a crop sensor because you get 1.5 times crop if you're shooting at like 105 it ends up being like 150 so you're getting that added additional distance on the lens which is pretty cool now that you guys know all the comparisons between full frame and crop sensor at the end of the day who really cares if your photo is cropped in because you're using a crop sensor take a step back there's workarounds where it doesn't really matter what kind of sensor your camera has. There are more important things to think about like composition, lighting, subject, editing afterwards. These are all things that are much more relevant than whether or not you're using a full frame or a crop sensor camera. To prove my point, here's a quick little B-roll segment to end off the tutorial or the, whatever you want to call it. Let me know if you guys can pick out which shots are filmed on a full frame and a crop sensor. Let's go.
All right, guys, so if you thought this was helpful, if you liked the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Love ya. Is there a clear